Hi you guys, it's me, Elena. Um, no, I haven't been on for <laughs> quite a bit and sorry, my desk is a mess. I haven't really had a chance to clean it. Um, but you guys know in my videos is what you see <laughs> is what you get. Um, yeah, let me show you my mess, okay? I'm going to pick you guys up. Yep. Yeah, it's my water. <laughs> yeah, it's a mess right now. And I haven't had a chance to clean it or anything. So, um, yeah. You guys know I don't edit my video. So, <laughs> yeah. So, um, anyways, I wanted to come on here um to share with you guys um some stuff that i had worked on and um and some stuff that i want to share with you guys um uh thank you for all the well wishes um my back is yes doing a lot lot better um it's been very a long time since I felt very relieved from my back. So um, that's going good. Um, so anyways, I am trying to, um, if uh, we're doing a swap or anything, um, please uh, contact me through my email or through YouTube I will put my email address just in case um, you might not have it and um, if we're doing uh, a pocket letter swap please uh, message me unless I've already messaged you and because um, you know I'm having so much going on so it will be delayed you know but um i do want to do it because it helps my mind so much it's just going to take me a little longer <laughs> right where i wanted to be and i thought yay i'll be able to you know craft more do more swaps participate in more challenges but um no that's not going to happen <laughs> not for now anyways so um i had went to the doctors and um i was having some issues um last weekend i had to go to the er and all that stuff and this was for something different it's not even for my back you guys yeah when it rains it pours so um so then uh, I'm not going to get into all the medical words and stuff like that. I'm just going to, um, you know, share what I want to share with you guys. Um, so, um, yeah, so I went to the doc. I went to the doctor. I went to a different doctor and um, I found out some things and um there's some things that I need to take care of and um so tomorrow um I'm going to go get some tests done tomorrow so um please 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 put me on your prayer list you know my your well wish list whatever it is put my name on it <laughs> Because I really need, um, I really need your prayers and support. I'm, you know, if any time that I'm going through something, I think right now is the time. <laughs> so, um, I'm not a kind of person to, I know like, you know, everyone, oh yeah, you should ask or, you know, that's why we're here to support one another and, you know. You know, we all support each other, whatever we're going through, whether it's non-crafty or not. I mean, what God is here is crafts, yes. And we all build friendships and all like that. But I'm just not the kind of person to ask for the help, you know. And until I'm in that corner where I feel like, you know what, I need some support. I need something. Then I will do it, you know. 
So me coming on here and sharing this with you, because I am a very, 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 <laughs> I think, I don't even know, I invented the word private person. <laughs> I am just very, very private about my life and issues, things that I share, like my back and stuff like that. And I mean, that's stuff that I'm comfortable in sharing with you guys. But um, I don't share everything on here, just what I feel that I should share. You know, you share what you want and you don't share the rest. And that's just how I am. So um, it's like what you see is what you get. So um, yeah, so I have to go through this other stump of heel that I have to go through. And it's very, very overwhelming, but, you know, I have to do it. So, tomorrow, I have to go get a test done. I'm not happy about it, but I know that it needs to be done. So, um, yeah. And um, so, all I ask, if you can just keep me in your prayers... And, um, this time I'm just, and I always have, you know, not just because what I'm going through, but I journal a lot emotionally and, um, I'm very spiritual. So I read books. I stay close to God because around, especially around these times, we need that, that extra strength and that courage, you know, to, to help us get through certain things. And I'm going to show you my books that I love to read. Um, hold on. Grabbing them from my bag here. I keep a bag right by my bed. Um, so I can just grab my stuff. I have a little tote bag. And I will share. I will show it with you guys if I have time. So my first one is this one. And I love, love this one. This one is called, oh my God, where did I get that word, God? Oh my God, you guys. Okay. God is always watching over you, inspiring words about God's constant presence in our lives. So I love this book. And you guys, the inside, it makes me want to like color. Look at you guys. It may, doesn't it want to make you paint or something? <laughs> I mean, I love this book. And, um, I mean, really beautiful sayings, beautiful book. I mean, it's just so inspiring. I mean, can you tell? I, yeah, I'm putting it to use. And I love, love these kind of books. I mean, really. So, look at that. And then if you want to put that on pause so you can read it. And yeah, it's very, very beautiful. And the pictures. So this one is by Blue Mountain Arts. If you want to look that up. And here's the, um, the info and different things. Yeah. So I have that one. And then I have this one. I love this one. And this one is called A Cup of Joy, Moments of Faith to Enrich Your Day. It's a devotional. And I love the, the teacups. It reminds me of Shabby. So I really love that. This, I took a picture of this. And it's the picture on my um, Instagram. So, um... I will put my Instagram name on there. So if you want to go and um, look me up. And um, I tend to post quotes on there. And projects. And of course, you know, my hauls. Which my ha I have a small haul for you guys. But which my hauls will be calming down a little. But that's why I'm letting you guys know. So, um... So yeah, this is a devotional, and I love this book, and this is by Thomas Nielsen, and I got this at my local Christian store. It's called Christian Life, and this one is a woman's um, 
and this one was on sale so I love this book and as you can tell I put this to use of course had to add my little owl there because you know and then and then I love this one stop looking for the why God knows I use that word so many times <laughs> So I love that book. And then my this one's my last one that I found this one at a thrift store. And I just love the front. Little did I know what I was gonna be going through, but this is perfectly because what I'm going through right now. So this is called the Days of Healing, Days of Joy. And at the thrift store that I got this from actually it wasn't even for sale the ladies just said go ahead and take it so i was like whoa okay god really wants me to have this and then the inside has devotional for each day and i just love that because i love to read it and then i love to journal about it and what i got from it and stuff like that like each one on the top um like, as you can see, there's, you know, it starts talking about different things. And then on the top, it always has something on the top where it says, people need loving the most when they deserve it the least. And then in the bottom has um, different things. It says, like a baby who learns to calm herself after a bad dream, I too am learning to rely on myself for comfort. So you see, I mean, wow, you know, the sayings are just like exactly what I'm going through right now. So I love, love all these books. So I love reading them. And then, of course, I keep one um, in the living room when I'm on the couch and stuff like that. And this was one of my first devotional books that I had first gotten. I've always had the devotional books but I have really got into these kind of devotional books and this one's called whispers of encouragement inspiration for every day and this one is by Daymaker inspirational gifts and um, I love that saying I can do all things through Christ gives me strength I love that saying and then the inside is just like so you know like touching too and it says peace at last so if you want to pause that and read that so yeah i love 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 it really nice so um yeah i'm due to get a new one because i just love them i love getting new ones especially um because I love reading these books. I love journaling about them. And it really helps when you're going through something. To be in touch with your inner spiritual self, I can say. Whether, whatever it is, you know. Um, and for me, it's God and getting close to Him. And um, making me, not making me, but kind of like He had molded me. To make the person that I am now and that's why I'm able to um, deal with things um, normally with someone that's not so spiritually strong it would affect them a different way everybody's different you know but I'm just my opinion is just on myself and my experience and what I'm going through so I'm not um, <clears throat> I'm not saying about, you know, who's feeling what, you know, I'm just talking about my own experience. And um, so I wanted to come on here and share this with you. So, um, so back to the, um, okay, so back to the, <laughs> oh my God, I'm losing my, what I'm talking about here. Um, so... Just a reminder, if I'm doing a swap with you, please, please message me 
unless I have already messaged you and um, it's in the process or something. But please message me and let me know and um, and all that just to make sure that I'm not missing nothing here because I have so much going on and I don't know where this is going to go yet. Um, <clears throat> I just have to get through the test and you know how all that goes so um, but my back is feeling better which is <laughs> it's funny but not funny you know because it's like now my back's better and I want to do more things and go places and it's like now it's like okay wait a minute not yet you still got something that you got to take care of and I'm like oh my gosh so Anyways, so I wanted to come on here and ask for prayers and just that support and, um, you know, it just, it would mean a lot to me. Oh, and another thing, I wanted to welcome all my new subbies. Um, it's unfortunate that you're coming on my channel, especially when I'm going through this, but like they say, the more the merrier, right? So, welcome to my channel. I hope you find inspirational and um, ideas and, you know, stuff like that. But, <clears throat> yeah, I wanted to come on here and ask you guys for that. So, that's where I've been and that's why um, I haven't um, did too many videos. Um, on the video part, um, I'm not going to put that stress on me right now it's just when I do a video then I'll do it you know um, most important is that I got to take care of myself and do the things that I need to do so <clears throat> so anyways if um, you want to leave a comment and I love reading your comments and stuff like that if you haven't subscribed please do um, Give me a thumbs up and letting me know you're going to keep me in your prayers. And um, I will come back and do another video. Um, I'm going to try to do um, another video. And I have uh, something I want to share, a project I want to share with you guys. And um, hopefully um, you guys will like it. So, okay you guys, I am going to get going. And I will do another video. I will talk to you soon. Um, please comment if you like. And I will talk later. Okay, bye you guys.